What's up everyone, this is Pixel here, and this week I am bringing you a tutorial. This is for all of my fellow gaming live streamers out there. If you want to learn how to get this cool musical spectrum visualization thing, plus use music from Spotify, then keep on watching. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. There will also be a lot of important information in the description box, so check that too. To start off, we're going to download the three components that we need for this thing to work. So check the description box below for those links. The first is going to be to FUBAR2000, and this is going to be the music player. The next one is going to be the musical spectrum plugin for FUBAR2000, and this is where our visualization is created. And finally, we've got the Spotify plugin for FUBAR2000, which allows our music from Spotify to be played in FUBAR. Once you have everything we need, just go ahead and run the installer for FUBAR2000. You can just go ahead and drop this in the default location or wherever it makes sense for you. That part really does not matter. Uncheck the box at the end of the installer so we do not run FUBAR yet. We're going to install the musical spectrum instead. Browse your Foo musical spectrum file and unzip it. Take the DLL inside and copy it. Then browse your install location for FUBAR2000, then into the components directory and paste the DLL inside. Now start FUBAR2000. We'll install the Spotify plugin from inside the program. Go to File, Preferences, and you'll be defaulted onto the components screen. Click Install on the right hand side and locate the Foo input Spotify zip we downloaded. FUBAR will ask you to apply changes and will restart automatically. To add music from Spotify, we'll need special addresses called URIs to obtain albums, playlists, or individual songs. These are easily obtainable from the Spotify application. Just browse to something you'd like to play, right-click the item, and select Copy Spotify URI. Tab back into FUBAR and select File Add Location and paste the Spotify URI that is chillin' in your clipboard. After a moment, you should see the tracks populate in your playlist. Also, a quick note, the first time I did this, I got a login window. After adding in my Spotify credentials or my Facebook credentials, since my accounts are linked, it proceeded as normal. Next, let's configure our visualization by going to View, Visualizations, Musical Spectrum. Right-click on the window and choose Options for a panel that we can play around with and customize. I'm going to use a shortcut by importing settings that I previously saved. When starting from scratch, make sure all labels, grid lines, and tooltips are unchecked. You'll want a clean background since we will be chroma keying it out in the live streaming software of your choice. As for the other options, you can try what I have set here, but I encourage you to mess around with them for yourself. Especially the colors, you'll want these to fit whatever theme or overlays you use for your channel and live streams. Finally, we just need to bring it all together. I'm using OBS to capture this tutorial as well, so there's a little bit of screenception going on, but ignoring that, you'll get the gist. You'll probably want to have a backdrop to put the spectrum on. I created mine in Photoshop, leaving a space in the center for the visuals. Just create whatever you want and import your image onto a scene. Now add in the musical spectrum. In OBS, select Add a Window Capture and choose Musical Spectrum from the dropdown. Uncheck Capture Mouse Cursor, check Use Color Key, and in Color, select the color you set as your background in the musical spectrum options. For example, mine is bright green since my bar colors run from purple to blue. Set similarity and blend to zero. When you start playing your music, it should look something like this. Hit edit scene to move the spectrum around to your liking. And here it is in full screen. That concludes this tutorial. I hope you liked it, found it helpful, and are able to build upon it and include elements of this in your own stream. If you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, and consider subscribing. I'll see you next time here, and of course, on Twitch TV.